But legal cannabis isn't the only landscape seeing change across New York State. So is the illegal drug market. Most Buffalo's Rob Hackford joining us now with more on that changing landscape, Rob, and how it's being tracked. And things are not as they appear. No, Kate, and last month when Erie County health officials shared there were a record number of opioid overdose deaths in 2022, a devastating number. One of the things that was blamed were disguised drugs or laced drugs like cocaine that also contain things like fentanyl that people didn't know about or weren't prepared for. So I wondered how public health and law enforcement determine what drugs are to blame and what to warn the public about. Well, th that's how I ended up here. This is the lab where every drug recovered by law enforcement in Erie County gets tested. While also playing an evidentiary role for prosecutors, they also share that information with the county health department. We're seeing a, uh, the mixture of different types of drugs right now in the community, both the, the cocaine and the opiates that are, that are out there, and that's a new trend. And that, that starts with the work that the police do, the analysis that's done here in the lab, and then making the public aware that this is out there. Yeah, the lab has identified amphetamine with meth in it, as well as oxycodone that has fentanyl in it. Even Xanax looking pills that weren't what they claimed to be, but without the right instruments and testing, these things aren't visible to the naked eye by anyone. Coming up at six o'clock, I'll have much more from inside that lab and show you one of the tests that they actually use to identify meth, for example, which has seen an increase around Western New York. Kate, in fact, the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office says it busted a meth lab in Westfield just yesterday. Reporting for Most Buffalo, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.